the moderator. Colleagues, uh, good afternoon to uh, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the organizers uh, for setting this topic, uh, which gives us the opportunity to sit down uh, together on uh, what China can bring to the Arctic. I know people are interested in the Belt and Road, uh, Road Initiative or the Polar Silk Road uh, and the uh, related uh, issues in the Arctic. Um, I would like to share with you some of my own observations on this. So the, as the, the uh, Belt and Road in Initiative is a major international cooperation uh, initiative proposed uh, by China in the light of uh, the clear trend of economic globalization. You may know that in uh, um, 2013, uh, President Xi Jinping uh, put forward uh, the, the initiative to uh, build the Silk Road uh, economic belt and the 21st century maritime Silk Road, and in short, the Belt and Road Initiative. Uh, in five years, uh, over 80 countries and in international organizations have signed agreement with, uh, with uh, China to push forward uh, the, the uh, initiative. Uh, the connection and the complement uh, of the development strategies of China and the countries involved uh, have been advanced uh, greatly. The Belt and Road uh, Summit uh, was held successfully uh, last year in Beijing uh, with uh, uh, quite, quite a number of uh, 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 heads of states and government uh, came in Beijing. On the 26th January, uh, the Chinese government uh, issued its first white paper on uh, China's Arctic policy, which clearly indicates that China uh, wishes to uh, strengthen international cooperation in the Arctic, uh, including under the Belt and uh, Road Initiative or Polar Silk Road in the Arctic context through developing and uh, operating the Arctic shipping routes uh, with all interested parties. The Belt and Road Initiative is intended to be uh, open, inclusive, and uh, mutually beneficial, and hopefully would bring about lots of uh, opportunities for cooperation in promoting uh, connectivity and sustainable development um, in, uh, in the Arctic uh, region. Uh, the, the initiative is open, uh, although it is uh, proposed by, uh, by, uh, by China, opportunities and, uh, connecti for connectivity and development generated from and uh, achievement belong to the countries who participated, who participate. Uh, there will be economic uh, social development strategies or plans of a country where a project uh, might be located and which needs uh, international cooperation uh, in terms of uh, investment or uh, technology or uh, construction capacities and so on. And then the uh, Belt and Road Initiative might be the opportunity uh, to make these uh, uh, resources available. So the first driver to this um, uh, to the, uh, is, the, is the country uh, which uh, want to have the connection with uh, other countries. Uh, the initiative is inclusive Instead of uh, imposing strategies or uh, uh, plans of uh, only one side, uh, putting aside uh, those of the other side. So the, the initiative aims to link with and complement the development 
strategies of all countries involved, and to, it, and to leverage and mobilize their comparative strength. Uh, the initiative is mutually beneficial. Uh, when all involved parties could work together, there will be a guarantee that the result of the uh, cooperation would be mutually uh, beneficial or in a win-win uh, situation. In the Arctic, China is uh, willing to work together with the Arctic countries and other interested countries uh, to explore the opportunities to enrich the content of cooperation in light of their own development needs and strength in the pursuit of the Polo Silk Road. The, the Belt and Road Initiative is, is uh, expected to, uh, to be pursued in the Arctic by joint efforts of all, uh, of all interested countries, including the Arctic countries and all other interested countries. We expect that uh, those countries would sit down together uh, to try to connect their, uh, their ideas about development needs uh, or opportunities and a further um, uh, intention um, uh, and um, explore their uh, plans, their ideas, uh, even uh, uh, details of uh, the projects. Uh, serious uh, consultations or uh, negotiations may then follow so as to reach agreement at all necessary levels, uh, central government level or local government, or even, uh, com uh, or even uh, communities, uh, local communities, so as to make the project uh, uh, operational. In this process, uh, no one's interest, role, or uh, contribution should be left out. When the development strategies or plans of different parties are connected, when the resources and um, comparative advantage advantages of different parties joined together and moved to the same direction, it is highly likely, likely that the result would be one plus one greater than two. At the same time, the role of the uh, business and the market force should be brought into full play. In this picture, business is the primary pr uh, player in uh, ascendant and the commercial rules within the whole legal system of a whole host country where a possible project is located must be followed. A project may thus be robust and sustainable. We expect that the project under the Polar Silk uh, Polar Silk Road would most likely be based on the contracts between business entities of two or more countries. Uh, there may also be cooperative ag agreements between two or more governments providing political and the policy frameworks. So it is uh, expected that those projects would locate in one or more uh, Arctic countries where the national legal systems uh, would ensure the projects to meet the, meet the economic and social requirements of the host states. In recent years, China and uh, uh, relevant countries have already uh, made some positive progress in promoting uh, the commercial use of the Arctic shipping routes. Uh, infrastructure building in the Arctic region, exploration of resources, and, lay, uh, and laying uh, submarine uh, cables. Uh, the, the Belt and Road initi Initiative is relatively a new thing, and uh, the international cooperation along the Silk Road, uh, uh, Polar Silk Road is booming. Some different ideas and observations in this respect are completely normal. Uh, as long as all parties involved can uh, handle these differences through uh, thorough discussions and collaboration, the differences would hopefully be solved. And the peoples in the Arctic will surely benefit from the Belt and Road Initiative. 
the future of the Arctic uh, connect, concerns the humanity as a whole. The governance of the Arctic requires the participation and the contribution of all stakeholders. The pursuit of the Belt and Road uh, Initiative is a great undertaking and it requires all countries to join their hands on the basis uh, of a women uh, cooperation. Uh, thank you very much. So I will be happy to answer.